Door County brings a lot of family-owned and operated restaurants to the dining scene. One restaurant in Sturgeon Bay was nominated to be on a show that recognizes top local restaurants. I'm your Door County Neighborhood reporter, Caitlin Holt, and we visited this restaurant to see what has made them a local favorite for nearly 30 years. We've gone from a little, little hole-in-the-wall restaurant to what you see here, and we're serving 2,500, 3,000 people a day. James Finney has worked at Sonny's Italian Kitchen and Pizzeria for about 22 years. Finney says the best part about working at Sonny's is that he feels like he's working with family. And this family knows how to feed a lot of people, and fast. I'm guessing probably right around four to 500 pizzas on a normal day. It was not an average day at Sonny's. They had the opportunity to show off some of their most popular dishes and have the community support them while they filmed an episode for the show America's Best Restaurant, which will be featured on various social media platforms. Yeah, it's kind of neat to see that people in the uh, community uh, recognized us and uh, we were nominated. Owner Jason Estes says that after 28 years, Sonny's has changed from a small pickup and delivery business to what they are today. And he thinks their fresh ingredients, great views, and being family owned all have something to do with their success. Gina Hansen is a Sturgeon Bay local and she says supporting local restaurants like Sonny's is important. It's special because it supports everybody that lives here and takes care of all of us. Customers and staff told me Sonny's pizza and pasta is some of the best around and there's a little something for everyone. Estes says he is proud to be a part of the Door County restaurant scene. It's a lot of family owned independently run restaurants and I think you know you as you know you get a lot more pride with that. If you live in Door County and have a story to tell I want to hear about it. You can call me at the phone number on your screen or email me at caitlin.holt at nbc26.com.